Hi all, welcome to myclass.com. In this lesson, I am going to explain about the counting sort. A not in place, stable sort algorithm. In previous videos, we have discussed about all other sorting techniques like merge sort, quick sort, bubble sort, insertion sort and selection sort etc. You can refer that videos. So now we are going to discuss about counting sort. So what is counting sort? Counting sort you does not perform sorting by comparing elements. All other sorting techniques like merge, cook, bubble, insertion, selection all are comparison based sorting algorithm. But counting sort does not use a comparison technique. It performs sorting by counting objects having distinct key value like hashing. We are focused on the key value. We are taking that value and how many times, how many times they are repeating in that list. We are focused on like that. We are counting how many times such value like hundreds comes in one list. After that, it performs some arithmetic operations to calculate each object's index and then we are calculating the correct object index values that the array elements are holding after sorting. We are calculating that also. Okay. Like that the counting sort is working. So if n elements are there in one list, we are focused on all n elements. Then we are checking which elements are repeating. How many times one particular value is repeating in that list. And like that we are doing the counting sort. So the time complexity of counting sort is order of n or we can also say that order of n, per n plus k that is in best case, worst case and average case that complexity is order of n plus k. Here n is the number of elements and k is k is the range of k is the range of the elements in that list like the k is the range of elements. What is the range? Range means when we are checking all the values in the list so that the range is up to 0 to let's assume that all the elements are under 20 that is less than 20 or if the biggest value among that list is 20 then we can say that the range is 20 okay so for that we are again so for counting sort we are creating that array with k elements and also doing some operations on that array also because of that the time complexity is order of n plus k and also we are creating extra memory that is based on our n value though so the space complexity is also order of n also because of this it is a not in place algorithm and also a stable sort we are explaining that later now this is counting sort algorithm counting sort algorithm contains mainly six steps we are passing an array and the number of elements in this particular example a is our array and n is the number of n elements in the array so here total 12 elements are the i am taking the value less than 10 that is only because of better explanation okay it is also possible to do counting sort in any value okay so the first step is max find maximum element in a given array we are checking all the elements in the array and we are finding which one is the maximum element so in this particular example the max is equal to 9 this is we are using to create an another extra memory for counting sort because of that it is a not in place algorithm now create count array with size maximum plus one so the max value is nine so we are creating a count array with nine plus one value nine plus one elements that is ten elements so this is the count array that is we are using for counting sort first we are initializing all the value of counting sort as zero okay so that is the state third step initialize count array with all zeros now we are checking all the elements from a and we are updating the values of count array that is the step 4 for i equal to 0 to n find the count of every unique element and store that count at ith position in the count array if 2 is there we are updating the count 2 index 2 index of count array ok so what so this loop is starting from 0 to n minus 1 if 2 is there, we are updating second index 0 to 1. We are incrementing one value. Then 1 is there, we are incrementing one value. Like that, we are updating this count array. So after working this, after this step 4, our count array is look like this. If 2 is there, 2 we are incrementing to 1. 
and one is there we are angry may again one is there so one it is two then zero is there so one we are incrementing one zero plus one one if six is there we are incrementing here five is there we are incrementing seven we are incrementing six again we are incrementing because again another six k two then nine incrementing eight incrementing again another nine so that is two then one sorry not this one it will become three okay this all are now also it is zero so like that this count array is updating so this is updating the count array so after the working of finding all the count elements all the counts of every elements after finding the count our count array should be like this we are updating the count array we are not creating a new count array only one count array is the next we are doing another work that is for j equal to 1 to max now find the cumulative sum and store it in count array cumulative sum so what is cumulative sum we are updating like this one we are updating in this array only okay so 1 plus 3 4 then 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 0 5 5 plus 0 5 5 plus 1 6 6 plus 2 8 8 plus 1 9 9 plus 1 10 10 plus 2 12 now the count array should be like this after that we are for i equal to n to 1 restore the array element decrease the count of every restored element by 1 this loop is starting from i equal to n to 1 so here we are starting from here n to 1 or n so it is if it is this index is starting from 0 to 11 it is n minus 1 to 0 if the array is starting from 11 to 0 here normal case algorithm is if for i equal to n to 1 both are correct no problem then we are starting from here 11 okay 11th index so 1 is there so we are looking this loop is working like this we are looking the index 1 value of count array here okay index 1 value of count array so 4 we are decrementing that for 3 and the index 3 we are storing the 1 value again we are checking 9 so 9 is here we are decrementing 9 first value of the 9th index was 11 and we are saving that 9 here like that this loop is working so after the working of all this our array should be in the correct order now that's 8 8 is in the 10 so we are decrementing we are decrementing 10 9 so in the 9 8 is there again 9 and 9 is in the 11 decrementing 10 in the 10th position our another 9 is the 6 6 is with 8 so 7 our 6 is the now 7 7 is in the 9th position decrementing so 8 7 is here 5 is in the 6 so decrementing 5 so 5 is here now 6 again so 6 is in 7 now 7 hold, hold the value 7 so we are decrementing then 6 is here now another 0 came 0 is in 1 decrementing first and then 0 ok like that our count array is working now 1 is the 1 where is 1 1 value holding the 3 so decrementing 2 and storing 1 here again another 1 value again we are decrementing 1, storing 1 value, now 2, 2 hold the value 5, decrementing 4 and saving the value 2. Like that count array is worked. So that is the 6th step. We are explaining again with, with C program also. Now going to our program implementation of this algorithm. So mainly our first loop is to find the create the count array and update the count array for updating the count array this loop is working like this for in i equal to 0 i less than and i plus plus count a of i plus plus like that we are doing this is the another loop for cumulative frequency and this is for after updating the updating our sorted list okay so now doing we are explaining this with an example the same example also okay so first is this one as we are looking so our count array is first all the count array is all count array elements are 0 loop is like this so in i equal to 0 we are updating count array like this see count a of 5 a of my means a of 0 a of 0 is here first we are starting from 0 so a of 0 is 2 2 plus plus we are doing like this inside this loop so count 2 plus plus we are incrementing count 2 so count 2 count 2 means index 2 now it is 1 here. Now we are doing with count 1. Count 1 plus 1. 1 
incrementing so it is now 1 now again this is incrementing 2 like that this counter is updating okay so this is the loop the loop is looking like this so after the working of this loop our counter is should be like this now we are incrementing we are finding the cumulative frequency how we are finding cumulative frequency we are starting from here i equal to 1 to i less than equal to max in this max value is 9 here okay so up to 9 we are working what is the working of loop count of i that is our count array of 1 is updated with count array this is like count array of i equal to count array of i plus count array of i minus 1 so count array of 1 equal to count 1 plus count 1 minus 1 i minus 1 means 1 minus 1 that is count 0 so that is count 1 count 1 is 3 3 plus 1 4 so we are updating the value of count array of index 1 is 4 now now after that we are doing with so when when i equal to 2 it is like count of 2 plus count of 1. Now then 4 plus 1, 5. So now it will become 4. After that 4 plus 1, 5. 5 plus 0, 5. Like that it is updating. So after the working of this loop, our count arrays look like this. Okay. 1, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, 12. Now we are doing the last loop. That is int i equal to n minus 1 i less than or equal to 0 i minus minus for sorting the array we are also creating an output array okay an extra output array for this this is our output array then our loop is starting from n minus 1 so n minus 1 is 11th position we are starting then up to a i equal to 0 then what does we are doing output count of a of i minus 1 equal to a of i so we are starting like i equal to n minus 1 so so what is a of i a of i equal to a of n minus 1 the value is 1 now we are what we are doing output output count a of i a of i means count 1 minus 1 okay so that we are doing so output Put what is in the value in the count 1, count 1, count 1 is 4 now, so 4, count 1 is, count 1 is 4 now, 4 minus 1, minus 1, so output 3, so in the index of output, in the third index of output array we are storing a of i, a of i means a of n minus 1, a of 11, 1. 1 we are storing so output of 3 contains 1 then we are decrementing count of ai minus minus so that is count of 4 count of 1 count of 1 we are decrementing to 3 now we are looking to a of 10 a of 10 is 9 so in the 9th index of counter it is 12 we are subtracting one value so 11 so output 11th index of output array in the 11th index of output array, we are storing 9. Then we are going to 8. 8. So 10 has here. In the 9th value, we are storing 8. Okay. After that, we are also decrementing A of I also. Okay. Now this A of I 11. Now 10 became 9 also. Now we are looking to 9. So 9 is 11 is holding. 9th index value. So 11 decrementing 10 in the 10th index we are saving 9 now 6 is here 6 hold the value 8 decrementing we are decrementing so in the count of 7 we are saving 6 and then we are decrementing now 7 is here 7th index 9 is here so in the 9 minus 1 8 value we are storing 7 and then we are decrementing 8 now 5 is here 5 in the 5th index, 6 holding, so 6 minus 1, 5. 5th index, 5 is holding, then again one another 6 is here, 6, 6 holding the value 7, 7 minus 1, 6. In the index 6, 6 we are saving, now we are changing it into 6. This is also we are decreased before. Now 0 is here. 0, 0, 0 in 0th index 1 is here so we are saving in the we are decrementing and saving 0 here 
now it is zero now now one one in first index it is holding the value three so in the index two we are saving then decrementing then again another one value we are saving in the one minus one index that is one then we are decrementing to we are decrementing to one then two is here so in the index two five is here so we are decrementing five four so in the output of four we are saving two and we are decrementing it into four like thus this loop is working so after the working of this loop output array contains the sorted element okay so this is the working of count counting sort so let's see e here we, our loop can start from like this also int i equal to zero i less than n also then also we will get the correct value but we are not doing like that because of why if we are doing like that see one thing is that if two is there we are looking to second index so five decrementing four we are saving two here is it no problem then one is here so we are looking to the index one so we are decrementing three so three first one is here then the another one see one so we are looking to three decrementing to this is the second one so this the arrangement is changed first one is here or here and the second one is here so then it will become a unstable algorithm for stability conservation we are doing like this we are starting from this our loop is starting from like this lap starting from here counting sort will be a stable sort okay because we are first consider see in this we are considering one here so we are looking to here so decrementing three then one is here okay then we are decrementing so then after doing this all thing this one is will be here and this one will be here so it is in the stable correct order either nine also like this the first the last nine should be in the last place and next nine should be in the next place okay so because of that counting sort is a stable sort algo stable sort and also a, we are extra creating memory like count array up to k value count array with k index and also the output array with n index so we can say that our counting sort is a not in place sorting algorithm with the space complexity order of n we are creating extra array for our count count value for sorting all our n elements okay so it is a not in place algorithm then another same what is the time complexity see it is a time complexity when we are looking so in these are the main loops working for counting sort so in this all loops are see all loops this loops are up to n and this is also up to n it is working in here also our range max so in here nine is this or so nine times one another loop is working so la, so we can say that so n times this loop is working and also k time is another loop is working k is the range of this counting sort that is the maximum value we can find it by checking the maximum value among this list so we can say that order of n plus k is the time complexity in sometimes it is also k, say like order of n because some like this so the time complexity order of n plus k in some books or sometimes we are saying that the counting sort as the time complexity order of n in best case worst case and the average case okay and one more important point is it is a linearly its time complexity is linear see order of n not in an exponential or logarithmic wise it is a linear it has the linear time complexity okay if it is like this order of n plus k also in a linear fashion it is also in a linear fashion because k is an another number and that is maybe sometimes it is lesser than our n then we can say that it is like order of n is our time complexity is order of n okay so that is all about our counting sort algorithm now we are looking to our counting sort program now let's look look at the full c program for counting sort first there is a function for finding the maximum 
value of our array that is get max we are passing an array and the number of elements in that array first we are setting first element of the array as our maximum value then by doing a loop structure we are checking all other elements and we are finding which one is the maximum element among this arrays and we are returning that max value then after that this is the function for count sort for storing the sorted array we are creating one more array that is output array with n plus 1 index n plus 1 value then we are finding max get max and a and we are passing array and the number of elements so after that we are getting the our max value contains the biggest value in that array okay then we are again creating another array count array with max plus 1 value then this is the loop for initializing all count arrays element as 0 and this is for this is for storing the how many number how many times one element is there this is this loop is for that we have already discussed and this loop is to find the cumulative frequency after finding the cumulative frequency we can create the output array we can update the output array in a sorted order so this loop is for that we have already discussed then we are passing that output array into our original array then this is the function for printing that array only just step printing statement okay so in this main function there is a an array and the number of elements and we are asking how many elements are there in the array and also we are asking all the elements in the array unsorted elements of that array before sorting we are one time we are printing and then we are doing the count sort then again we are printing the print array statement we are doing the print array function then return 0 let's execute it c.exe 6 elements are the 23 45 1 2 3 4 56 okay so before it was like this and after 1 23 34 45 56 and 223 clear so this is the program for counting sort and you can download this program pdf with the link in the description box okay hope the logic of count sort understood thank you for watching